Hi, welcome to online tutorial videos from JCBRO Labs. For more information and to download the source code of this video, you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Uh, so, in our last video, we talked about how to simulate a control system transfer function in Python. So, this is a video 2, part 2 of that series. So, in this video, we will talk about how to do time domain and frequency domain simulation of uh, control system. Uh, in Python. So there is a lot to learn. So stick with us till the end of this video. Further we also provide online training, help in technical assignments. We also do freelance projects data uh, based on data science, Python, machine learning, embedded system etc. We also help uh, uh, in PhD thesis work, MTech or MS thesis work as well. So if you have any such requirement then you can mail us at info at jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at www you can also visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org okay so let's move forward so in our last video we talk about like uh, we need to install a python control library and we talked about the procedure for that now in this video we'll do uh, simulations related to time domain and frequency domain analysis okay so first of all let's undock this console so that uh, we can easily type here okay okay so first of all what we will do we will uh, import our library so that is import control dot matlab okay not it from control dot matlab import everything and then import numpy as np and we can also import matplotlib import matplotlib matplotlib dot plot as plt okay now first of all uh, we will create a transfer function type object okay as we discussed so that can be created by this command s equals to tf okay now we will define our system so we are taking a second order system so that we can visualize the oscillations uh, in uh, in the step response okay so it is 4 divided by s square plus 2 into s plus 4 okay now first step uh, first of all we'll talk about the step response so step response uh, returns two value response and the time values at which the response has been calculated so we can record it into two different variables res comma t equals to step of system okay now we can plot it so in order to plot it it is simple plt dot plot t comma res okay so here's the step response of the system so let's make the grid on so plt dot grid on okay so here's the step response of the system okay. and now next thing uh, which comes so that is pretty easy right similarly we can get the impulse response because generally in time domain analysis these two response are very important the step response and the impulse response so again uh, let's result comma t equals to this time impulse of system so it has returned the impulse response so we'll make plot it t comma r here because it is a stable system so impulse response will be tending towards zero as time goes towards infinity okay so here's the impulse response of the system yeah pretty easy right okay now let's move towards the frequency response so first of thing which comes into our mind in the frequency response is the border plot okay so border plot automatically list out uh, the figure for us as well as are also return the magnitude and res uh, phase response so we can store in this form and then last is the frequency and border of the system so it also uh, plots the border response automatically so the system response has been uh, created right okay uh, 
so this is the magnitude response and this is the phase response of the system so look you can look at it uh, further we can also create the same plot just by let's make it another figure let's say figure 2 and then okay uh, figure is created and then let's plot plt dot plot uh, omega comma uh, now this magnitude uh, uh, is there so we'll make it 20 times log 10 i think yeah this is the command pardon me if i forgot the command yeah that's fine okay so here it is the simple uh, scale but here we have a semi log scale uh, okay so if you make it on the semi log uh, scale it will looks like the same uh, let's see if we have this semi log okay okay now there is no uh, okay the semi log is not there okay we can figure it you can fi i hope you can figure it out uh, you just have to plot it on the semi log paper okay now another uh, frequency response is the nyquist plot okay prior to nyquist plot we can also get the margin of the system so we just have to type margin and it will give us a phase mar uh, gain margin phase margin phase crossover frequency and the grain crossover frequencies okay that's pretty easy now we can also make it a nyquist plot so for nyquist I just type nyquist and then system it will give you the nyquist plot of the system so here's the nyquist plot okay and then there is another one like uh, nicolas plot okay so and i c h o l s nicolas and then system so this is the nicolas plot of the same transfer function which was 4 by s square plus 2s plus 4 so these are pretty straightforward commands in order to do some basic analysis of uh, any control system transfer function now one of the most important thing is the root locus which is very much uh, uh, which is used uh, more often in the <coughs> design of a compensators okay so we can also make it so there is a command r locus and then system so it will take some some time and it will plot the root locus uh, of the transfer function okay so here is the root locus of the system okay so these are some of the basic commands related to time and frequency domain analysis of control system transfer function in python so i hope you learned uh, you learned many new things and if you have any doubt or any query or any suggestion then you can let us know by commenting below this video further we also provide online training help in technical assignments we also do freelance projects based on data science python machine learning etc so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by mailing us at uh, info at gcbrolabs.org or you can also uh, contact us through our website which is www.gcbrolabs.org so that's it for this video thank you